So this is Sunday prep for school, making blueberry muffins. I can freeze some for the week. And then I like to do meal prep for the week. And I will also start supper early here, especially because we gotta head out to the field. Okay, in the oven they go. Muffins are in the oven. Muffins are done. Okay, I'm making two different kinds of smoothies because one kid likes strawberry, the other one likes mixed fruit. So first thing I do is put in the liquid, some frozen strawberries, I add some yogurt. I add a little bit of vanilla extract. Blend it up. The extra I'll put in the cup for me. Okay, on to number two. We're good. Okay, all done and out to the store for a bit. Crazy day. Coffee break. Okay, so for supper, I'm making pork loin. It's so easy to make and everybody loves it. So all I do is I saute the pork loin. Just a quick throw it in a frying pan with some butter and seasoning. Okay, so I've got the butter in the pan. The seasoning I'm gonna use is like a all-purpose Greek seasoning. You wanna use lots of seasoning. A little bit of garlic salt in there. My husband doesn't like garlic very much, so I don't put a whole lot in black pepper. And I also like to use this pork seasoning and we're going to fry that up. Okay, while I'm waiting for the butter to melt, I'm going to get the aluminum foil ready. So for faster cooking, because in one package of a pork loin, there's actually two pork loins in there, cut in half, split in half. So I'm gonna wrap them separately. So I need four sheets. Okay, so on the aluminum foil, all I did was I sprinkled the same seasonings that I put in the pan. Now we're gonna saute the meat. See, so you have two in one package. Put them in the frying pan with the lid on cook at high. And then in the oven, I always put a cookie sheet underneath the second rack there. So if anything spills over, it'll catch it. And now I'm going to get some potatoes ready too. juicy so we don't want it to drip out so the flap is here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it downward and that one's ready for the oven fold it over fold it over again flip it up flip the end up 
both ends are up like this, then you're going to flip it upside down and do the same thing. So there we go. Now they go in the oven. bags and then I leave a portion of it open. Okay, so here's what the pork loin looks like when it's done. Delicious. Look at that. It smells so good and potatoes from the garden, and beans from the garden. It's perfect. Okay. What else do we need there? The pots, the potatoes, the beans. Coffee. Got the coffee. broke down and so we're just waiting for them to fix that and then we'll eat something it's a beautiful night out tonight the kids are waiting patiently they got the chairs all ready to the other end of the field and then when they're done that side they're gonna meet me and then we head home I'm tired it was a big day I don't like driving in the field at night because I can't see all the dips and there's a lot of sloughs in this field, so I don't like going and then all of a sudden it's a slough and I can't figure out which way to get out. I was supposed to follow the ridge and then I didn't and I ended up by a slough. <laughs> so. Oh man. But we got the semis moved, the semi started and moved and now I'm gonna attempt to get in this field which doesn't look very, it looks very bumpy and gross. So I wanna go on the low spots, stay on the bush line here. But then they swathed with the swather high, so do this. Look at that. Perfect. There. So I always like to check when you drive in a field and it's so dry, i make sure the vehicle's not on fire because that wouldn't be fun. There them kiddos are. <laughs> <laughs> 